Hello there. In today's video I've come down to uh, Dorothea Quarry which is in uh, North Wales. Now, it's very much a place that I uh, that I know quite well and hold quite dear. It's a place I used to come to as a child pretty much all the time to play. It's uh, It's got quarries, it's got lakes, it's got old structures so for a child into photography with nothing but time on his hands it was a magnificent place to be and back in those days we could actually swim in the lakes as well but there's uh, modern day restrictions that prevent that it is quite dangerous but we didn't think about that back in the 80s I've come today to try and get some images in so I've wandered around some old memories I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So, I'm going to be filming this uh, in multiple different ways. I'm going to be filming uh, the normal footage that I would, cinematic style. And I'm also going to try and film uh, some point of view shots as well, especially of uh, taking the actual images. So, uh, let's uh, go and have a look around Dorothea Quarry. So, uh, one of the things I truly love about Dorothea Quarry is the uh, sheer abundance of photo opportunities that are in here. There's the old quarrymen's cottages, that being one example, there's woodland, there's these purple azalea bushes, I think they're azaleas, they're purple. Now, there's also the lakes, the old engine house and a myriad of other things to photograph and uh, where I'm heading to at the moment is what was part of the old mansion. Once I've taken a snap of that 
but then I'm going to come to the uh, lake where I'm going to try and get a shot of the pump house. That pump house used to be painted pink, but over the years it's become a little bit careworn. Let's get to the uh, manor house. Let's get first shots in. Okay, so the uh, first composition I want to get is this one here where I'm looking at the manor house. Now I've got a little touch of the azalea or the purple plant just in the corner, but I don't know how that will translate onto the image. I'm shooting at uh, f3.2 because of the light under here and uh, 1 80th of a second ISO 100. I'm using the uh, the old wall here as kind of a foreground interest and the uh, manor, the ruins of the manor house just behind it lit up nicely by the sun. So I'm uh, pretty happy with how that shot looks on the back of the camera. Uh, once again I'm using the Leica Q2 and it's a fixed focal length so I'm See how it looks on the computer. Let's get to the next shot. Okay, so I've uh, come to this outcropping that's looking over the lake. I'm going for this kind of composition of the mountain, shooting at f9 and uh, 640th of a second. Trees are highlighted by the sun, making up the foreground. We've got the old structure in the midground and the mountain in the background. That's coming up now. Okay, so I've uh, made it up to the area I want to be at. Now there's two shots I want to get while I'm here. One's looking over the lake towards Snowdon, and one's looking at this mountain here with the pump house in the foreground. I'm going to go, well it's probably not advised, I'm going to go over this fence and I'm going to go a bit closer to that edge over there where there's a, old fo there's a foxglove there. I'm going to try and get that in my foreground and make the best of the uh, 
layers of the image. Foxglove in the foreground, pump house in the midground, mountain at the background. Then I'm going to come back over here. Once again, there's another foxglove over there. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get low to the ground, get the foxglove in my foreground, and Snowden in the background. I'm going to do those on a point of view, so I'll uh, just switch the camera around now and we'll take those shots. Okay, so the uh, first shot I'm going for, I'm going at 500th of a second, F9. I've got the uh, pump house in the centre of my frame, the mountain behind it, and uh, I've got the fox gloves in the foreground. It is uh, underexposed for the highlights, and hopefully that image will come up really good when I edit it on the computer. So now we're going to move over to the other side. Being careful not to get too close to the cliff. I'm going to go to where the uh, where I can get a good view of the fox gloves as my foreground. Now I haven't got my tripod with me, so uh, they are going to be. Uh, a little bit out of focus and a little bit soft so it's about here I want to be so I want to get down low to the ground I want to take the image changing my set I'm just looking through the eyepiece now to uh, get my settings right and then I'll show you my composition So that's the uh, composition I'm going for. We've got the, uh, I don't know if you'll see it on the video, we've got the fox glove in the foreground there, the lake making it up in the middle ground, and Snowden in the distance. I'm shooting at 320th of a second, F9, ISO 100. And that's, the, uh, that's to keep the highlights whilst underexposing the shadows, which I can bring up later because I'm shooting raw. I'll put those images up now for you. So there we go, that concludes this uh, this video from uh, Dorothea Quarry. Now, we are at the height of summer. It's the end of May, beginning of June pretty soon, and it's already, it's already 21 degrees today, so it's already very warm. <coughs> Reminds me of my summers here. Although, uh, <laughs> it is a lot more overgrown than it was back then. Remember this area, you could see a lot more of it. There's been a lot of tree growth here since I actually grew up here. Huge amount. <laughs> Can't see most of what I used to enjoy looking at as a child. It has been 30 odd years, so hmm, give or take. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you liked the photographs. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe a like. Maybe uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, if you're not subscribed already, please do so. There will be more content coming up. I'm slowly getting back into it, and uh, yeah. Let's just enjoy the photography. Till next time, bye for now.